hi everyone welcome to my 24 week pregnancy vlog um hi <laughs> i am 24 plus five days pregnant um and this week has been great it's been full of just non-stop sorting and folding and packing a bag for australia um those weird random noises keep happening. There's like a laser tag thing downstairs and um, it's sort of got a mind of its own and every now and then it will just be like, 10 seconds to destruction. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why it's going off on its own. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been a really great week. It feels so good to be home. Oh, it's just a breath of fresh air, just to be settled in one place. Um, all my friends have got the COVID vaccine, which I'm going to get after I finish my pregnancy. Um, but it means that life is starting to go back to normal. We can see people now. We had people over yesterday, had a bit of a pool party. Everyone's kids came and it was just so refreshing to know everyone's safe. We can actually hug each other. Um, we... Uh, Mark and I, we took uh, PCR tests before anyone came over just to make sure that we were in the clear, which we were. And it was just, it was glorious. I, I did a big, I love um, doing charcuterie boards. And I know I'm not saying that correctly, charcuterie, whatever. Um, and so it, what you basically do is you, you have a board or, you know, I just had placemats out and um, you do all these like patterns of colored berries and um, like carrot sticks and dips and all sorts of things. And so we spent um, yesterday morning in the kitchen making vegan spinach artichoke dip, which we put in a big sourdough loaf. We sort of took all the bread inside out and we packed it all in there. And then, um, you know, salads and, and vegan buffalo cauliflower wings. And I made a really yummy bruschetta, which is one of my favorite things to eat. And just like tons of good food. And we had kombuchas and zevias and, um, you know, the adults had wine and it was just, I, I love that I don't really class myself as an adult right now because I can't drink, but um, it was just a beautiful day. And to see the kids interacting with each other and just not being so nervous, um, to touch one another because they have people being like, careful, don't spread COVID. Uh, it was just, it was really liberating. And I think it's what so many of us needed. And it was just, uh, we happened to have two other girlfriends from our friendship group in town at the same time. So I was like, right, this is the perfect opportunity. We're all going to be together. And it was just like food for the soul. It was amazing. Um, in my like rush to get ready and to like, I was like adding berries to the charcuterie board. And I was like, oh my God, people are gonna be here in 10 minutes. I get really perfectionist when it comes to my house being super tidy, if I have people coming over, um, the food being out, ready to go, the music on, the activities ready to go. Like I get really OTT um, when I'm hosting. And so I was like racing around like, ah, quick t minus nine minutes people will be here as if people actually ever arrive like right on the time that you say um but i was sort of racing and Bodhi was kind of racing to sneak some snacks from the charcuterie board which i wouldn't let him do because i was like the presentation like you can't take any of them off yet wait till people get here and wait till i get some photos and then you can start eating from it um and i smashed into him and i stubbed my toe so badly i'll show you it sorry my feet are so disgusting right now but do you see all the purple and stuff like oh anyway so that has not been fun and it happened right as people were arriving and then um my friend jess mcnamee uh who is sonya blade in the latest mortal kombat movie you should everyone should go see it um, she was like, dude, that's broken. You've broken your toe. You need to elevate it. You need to put some ice on it. Um, and, but of course I wasn't doing that. I was running around like, does anyone need a drink? Does it, oh, it's so good to see you, you know, conversing with my friends who I haven't seen in two years. Um, 
And so I probably ended up making it a little bit worse because I was walking all over it and um, eventually I elevated it. But in terms of actually, uh, that day was beautiful and so fun and I'm exhausted from it today. I'm exhausted because I think there's just so much output because you're connecting and you know, talking to people about all sorts of random different things and having heart to hearts and there's just a lot of energy output. And then today, Mother's Day, like I'm very exhausted. Um, but in terms of my how my body is physically feeling, I'm feeling great. I, I think that my natural state is pregnancy. <laughs> that's that's just how I feel. I just feel normal being pregnant because I've been pregnant a lot, but um, I always just, I've, I have easy pregnancies, um, touch wood. But I will say uh, two days ago, the day before I had people over, I decided to take Bodhi for a walk up the hill with me and we took our two dogs um, and we hiked all the way to the Hollywood sign because it's just up the hill from our house. But it still took us two and a half hours to walk all the way up there, turn around, walk back down. And we took our dogs, which was just so, so, so sweet. Um, and we just, Bodhi and I just connected the whole time. And he was like, mom, I'm really actually having a good time. Cause he was initially a bit resistant. He was like a hike for that long. Um, but then he loved walking the dogs and, um, and it was just him and I, and we, we just chatted and connected. It was such a beautiful experience. Um, and it made me feel really good about exercising and just moving my body again. And I really, I vow to do that three to four times a week. But then today I have this, I have hip soreness on my left side. And I wonder if I just went too hard, too fast. Cause I was, I had quite a steady pace. Um, and so today I'm a bit hobbly because of the hip soreness. But it's fine. It's nothing, nothing bad. Um, and the earlier in the week, I had shooting pain up my right leg, just at the back of my right leg. Has that ever happened to any of you guys? Um, sort of this, these like dull pains going up the back of my leg, which was quite random. And I was like, oh, I'm feeling it again. And I think I probably had that with Poet, uh, but it, it was just sort of coming and going over a three day period and then I haven't had it since then. So very random, I don't know what that was. My melasma is coming back because I've been in the sun and I feel like I'm getting it on my lip. What, like the worst place to get melasma. I've never had it there before. And I was like, oh my God, I've got something in my mouth. And I was like, oh my God, I think that's melasma. And then I've been trying to sort of scrub there and I really think it is melasma. My girlfriend, Lara, um, she has three little boys and she had the, the mask of pregnancy everywhere. Um, but she knows like a bunch of remedies to, to get it off. So ultimately I'm just gonna wait until after I've had the baby and figure out like what to do. But basically I, I should be using more sunscreen. I only ever apply once and I forget to reapply. So I should just wear a hat and cover my entire forehead. And now the lips, I don't know what's happening with this, but I don't have a mustache. I don't actually have any hair here. And now it looks like I have a, a mo, which is so attractive. Um, what else has been happening this week? Mother's Day today was really nice. I got woken up by my kitties um, and they all had done these beautiful cards and Forrest had drawn me a bunch of photo uh, pictures of myself. And I was like, and who's that person? He's like, that's you. And I was like, and what about that person? You. And then like the fattest one on there, he was like, and that's you with your fat belly. I was like, thank you so much. In any other situation, I'd be like, what? Um, but I was like, oh, you acknowledged her too. That's so sweet. Um, and they were just being gorgeous. And I kept looking at them thinking, I should be so lucky. I, I, they're healthy. They're happy. They're in particular. I'm like dying. A poet's age right now is just to die for. 
and I was getting so many comments on her from my friends yesterday at the pool party, just like, oh my gosh, she's next level. She's so beautiful. She's so, like, just her, her spirit is so beautiful. Like, she's, I think she's really beautiful physically as well, not that that matters, but they were really talking about her spirit and her soul and her heart was really beautiful. And she is the kid that will go to anyone. She cuddles people. She engages with people, even if she hasn't ever met them before. She's that kid. She, she doesn't have any sort of shyness. She's she's very self-assured and that's so divine. I loved, I haven't seen her in that many social situations. So seeing her with all the kids and jumping right in and she was jumping off this six foot high jump into the pool with her little floaties on and so gung-ho that she feels so much older than two and also because her language, she talks so much. Um, and I, I keep reminding myself, she's just a baby. She's still just my little baby. And then Forrest has been, has grown up so much recently and is so just thoughtful and kind and sweet. And I'm just loving age four. I love it. Three nager, no thank you. Give me a four year old any day. And I'm just like, oh, you precious little being. Um, I just want to eat him up. And then, of course, Bodhi, my little soulful, sensitive, beautiful man-man. Um, so today I've been reflecting on my kids. And I had we have Isaac this week as well. And just to see the biggest of all of them, so kind, so bloody brilliant, so smart and generous and he wrote me this card to my stepmom and he was like no particular order these are all the things I love about you and um and he wrote things that like I wouldn't even have picked up in myself that he like noticed and observed about me which I found to be really moving especially coming from him sometimes it feels even more moving when it comes from my stepson um it's gosh it was just such a lovely day and I got taken out to brunch and uh, we went to this super fancy French vegan restaurant in Beverly Hills and we ate so much sugar and so many yummy things little girls moving so much right now uh and it was it was just a lovely lovely day but I also want to acknowledge the people who are really triggered by Mother's Day because that happens all the time. You know, whether it's someone who is longing to be a mother or who has no relationship with their own mother or their mother's passed away or just the idea of mothering in general is really overwhelming. I don't think of mothers as just women who have children of their own. I think of mothers as women who take care of people, who are the helpers, who nurture, who mother those who should be mothering them. Um, so I think it's a day for everyone to be celebrated and even those who are triggered by this day, they need extra love as well. So I, I have been loving seeing on social media that many people's posts have been acknowledging that Mother's Day can be really complicated as, as can Father's Day. But it, it can be a very complicated and complex day. So it's not just all about oh, I'm a mummy and I love my babies and I'm getting spoiled today and you showered with love. It's also like, this is a hard day for many, 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 many people around the world and they need to be nurtured and sent love the same way we're receiving so much love. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. Um, I think that's really kind of all. I'm going to show you my belly. I'm wearing a dress, so I hope I don't flash you. Oh, excuse me, wow. Okay, there's a, there's my, oh, I don't really know how to do this. Here we go, da, 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 da. Here, I know what I'll do, I'll do this. Here we go. So here's my belly front on. There it is, do, 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 do. And here it is on the side. Just make sure I don't flash her with my big butt. Um, so look at that belly. I just FaceTime with my mum and her friend's daughter is pregnant with her first baby. And she is like a month ahead of me. I think she was like 35 weeks. And my mum's like, you are so much bigger than her. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Um, but anyway, she was still being very, very sweet. 
all right that's it guys for me uh 24 weeks plus five